so good morning to all so i am audible team so wc they are mainly classified into two types there is granulocytes and agranulocytes because of presence of granules in their cytoplasma regarding eosinophil basophils and neutrophils so they having granules in their cytoplasma so that's why they are known as the granulocytes and cells like monocytes and lymphocytes so they do not have any granules so that's why so they are known as the agranulocytes once again eosinophil they are stained with the acidic dye when you are observing under the microscope for a purpose of differential count of the wc so where the cells they are look like a red or pink and such cells are count as the eosinophils so eosinophil strength is about 2 to 4% only if you are counting for the 100 cells means among you got only 2 to 4 cells eosinophils so you are you can got the red or pink color cells only 2 to 4 if that was acid if the eosinophil cells if it is more than 4 when you are counting 100 wc cells from the blood with the help of the microscope okay that is under the 100 x so that indicates the person was suffering from the asthma okay so during the differential count so when you got the diagnosis report so where you know or you, you can observe the eosinophil count okay if it is exceed four percent because in all pathology lab so they only count the continuously in random and 100 cells in 100 cells if it is exceed four percent are four cells that indicates that person was suffering from the allergy or asthma okay and as well as that you can count for the basophils observe the range of basophil in that particular diagnosis report if basophils more than one because the basophil strength in total wc is one percent zero to one percent sometimes they are not observed but if it is exceed more than one cells there yeah, are two cells that indicates so that person was suffering from the hypersensitive reactions that is urticaria dermatitis or skin reactions or blood reactions so many kind of reactions they comes under the hypersensitive reaction so that was diagnosis so with the help of the count of the basophils from the total wc count or differential wc count if it is more than one then where you are having certain uh, asthma like symptoms or allergic like symptoms so that you can confirm definitely it was a allergic or hypersensitive reactions because in many other conditions for example by use of the antibiotics then also we are suffering from the allergy but on that time the basophils numbers was not increases but normally also if you're having the certain urticaria dermatitis hypersensitive reactions allergic reactions so in the report you got that basophils more than one number of cells so that indicates that candidate was suffering from the hypersensitive reaction for both condition the drug was different so that's why the count of wc so they helpful for to use the therapy or selections of the drug okay so then that is the agranulocytes like monocytes lymphocytes so these are also involved in the immune systems okay so then monocytes the, if their number is increased means so that was response to cause of the autoimmune disorders like also for lymphocytes so that's why so these differential wc count so they're helpful for the to diagnosis of the different types of the diseases are diff differentiation of the diseases and as well as to give the proper therapy so already we learned regarding the helpful for the differentiation of the various type of conditions and according to that only you are eligible to give the correct therapy and correct treatment okay so then the monocytes is also they are abnormal or pathologically varied in the kala azar kala is a one type of the uncontrolled diarrhea okay like a cholera okay so these monocytes count is helpful for the differentiations of kala azar then general diarrhea and as well as food poisoning diarrhea okay 
abnormal food induced also diarrhea and many other cholera so that was differentiated with the help of the monocytes because the monocytes variations is observed in the kala hazar only so next one is the regarding the wc that is the lymphocytes so these are the most important cell okay if the lymphocytes was fail means then only we are suffering from the diseases okay and lymphocytes so they are active after infections of the disease or after entry of the viruses bacteria or microorganisms so where so these three cells are fail also the monocytes are fail to remove or phagocyte that microorganism then so these lymphocytes are activated and lymphocytes are once again so they have the two type of cells that is the t cell and beta cells and t cells so they are involved in the cellular mediated immunity okay so these t cells they consist of the different type of cell that is the helper cell okay helper t cell then another is the cytotoxic t cell then third one is the suppressive t cell then fourth one is the memory t cells so these are the different type of t cells so with the help of these cells the lymphocytes so they are involved in the immune systems or to kill the microorganism so that's why the t cells so they are involved in the cell mediated immunity among these four cells these cytotoxic cells it have in a capability to kills the microorganisms if they are kills or if they are fail then only infection is occurs okay if the cytotoxic t cells if they are destroy that uh, that is the coronavirus means then we are free from the coronavirus if they are fail means then only we are suffering from the coronavirus infections okay so then this is the uh, helper cell so these helper cells they support to the cytotoxic cells they boost the cytotoxic cells or uh, they help so that's why they are known helper cells then both unique together so they are involved in the suppression of the microorganisms if cytotoxic cells are more active if involved in the destruction of more cell means then the suppressor cell it control the activity of the cytotoxic cells and all event so that was recorded by a memory cells because series of event is occurs through a cell mediated immunity cytotoxic cells it can modify itself it release certain cytokines certain hormones okay certain substance so and it can step by step it can kill the microbes so that all event so that can remember by memory t cells okay if next time if the same virus me occurs means before these primary immune cells so these lymphocytes directly they are suppresses the so that kind of the infection so that's why the health providers or health professor they inform to us once the disease will be occurs if once occur means it do not occurs in the next time because all memory was recorded in our body when that virus is enter means immediately so that can be destroyed with the help of the memory so that was stored in the memory t cells and regarding the beta cells so beta cells so it is involved in the humoral mediated immunity so this beta cells it can destroy the microorganism by secretion of the various immunoglobulins or natural antibodies like iga igd ige igm okay so these are the natural antibodies so they have in the capability to destroy or kills the microorganisms so that type of maintaining immunity was known as the humoral mediated immunity and beta cells it is involved in the phagocytosis or killing of the microorganism through a secretion of the immunoglobulins okay for example the coronavirus these beta cell they can secrete the that is igm immunoglobulins okay so that igm immunoglobulin it can neutralize the antigenic substance so those are present in the coronavirus once again the beta cells are two types plasma cells and memory cells plasma cells they secrete the immunoglobulins and memory cells so they recall or they can restore all memory 
so viruses enter so so and what kind of hormone that was secreted beta cells so like that that memory can be restored in the uh, memory cells of the beta cells in next time if the same virus is enter means directly it can suggest to the plasma cells same virus is enter you can secrete the igm or you can secrete the igd so like that immediately in the fraction second so we are free from the uh, that is microorganism infections so that's why the beta cells so they are involved in the humoral mediated immunity and these variations is found in diphtheria infectious hepatitis mumps as well as the malnutrition rickettsia syphilis and as well as the thyrotoxis and tuberculosis so with the help of count of b cell t cells we can diagnose the various kind